welcome everyone. This is Fix Your Med, and in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to connect your 8-bit Do micro gamepad to your Mac OS X device. Now, for the sake of the tutorial, you're gonna need a copy of Anki, you're gonna need the gamepad, obviously, you're gonna need the Mac OS X device, and you're gonna need an active internet connection. If you're watching this video, I will presume you have all of those things ready, set, to go. All right, so first off, there are three options available for the 8-bit though micro game pad, S, D, and K. These can be found on the bottom of the controller and make sure you switch your controller to the D option. I recall in a earlier tutorial video, I was telling people to switch to the S option for iOS. For the sake of a Mac device, you should switch it to the D option. Now that that's ready, uh, go ahead and pull up your Bluetooth settings. You can find it on the right corner, hit Bluetooth settings, or you can go to system settings on your dock, which is what I usually do. Hit the uh, button near the SD and K options. It should be the button on the bottom and hit the home button. The home button is on the bottom right near the star button, which is on the bottom left. Go ahead and just hold those two buttons together your 8-bit though micro gamepad should pop up in your settings. Hit connect, it's connected, sweet. Now go ahead and open your browser. Go ahead, you can just go ahead and click the link in the description for this add-on. It's called Con Anki, controller support for Anki. Uh, this is the software I use to map my controller to my Anki. So let me just go ahead and get the add-on code. Copy it. It's 189-879-0263. And let me pull up the Anki again. Go to Tools, Add-ons. Get Add-ons. Copy your code in. Hit OK. Excellent. Close that Anki to make sure the changes are successful. Open Anki back up, go back to tools, add-ons, hit any button on your controller now to see if it's connected. And as you can see, it's connected. Hit the add-on. And now I like disabling these access rolls completely just to keep stuff calm and collected. And I want to show you something. So when you go to controller, your B key might be mapped to your A key and your A key might be mapped to the B key. I got this controller when it first came out and I realized some of the keys aren't exactly mapped properly. So you can change it around here if you want, but I just go ahead and remember the B key is the A key, A key is the B key, X key is the X key, Y key is the L key, uh, R2, it, or the R key is R2, L key is L2, uh, R2 is the start button, and it also triggers the right stick vertical, so go ahead and just remember that. I just like not, that's why, that's the main reason I don't assign the vertical, because it will drag your mouse up and just keep it here. It's a real pain to deal with at times. L2 is select. The plus button is right click, right stick click. L left stick click is the uh, negative button. The uh, home button is D-pad up. So if you just remember that, you should be good to go. So mapping, B, enter, A, enter. You can do this however you want. I'm just giving you the uh, settings I like using. L. I just like leaving it empty. Select, click, etc. So expand, collapse. For B, A is enter again. Y is open browser, X open statistics, or L2 redo. 
R2 undo. Then this is just the fancy thing I like doing, volume down and volume up in case your decks have volume in them. Uh, most decks do not. I think using this, I'll leave that at options for now because I'm going to show something cool after I'm done doing the main mappings. I like using this to go back home go to main screen B select A enter same also previous next previous view um, that's fine B I like hitting again, A, A is enter, Y, easy, X, hard, redo, undo, select, some of these buttons I'm going to show cool mappings I've found when using um, occlusion masks and to list out if a Anki card has multiple options you had to recall. So I'll show that afterwards. Select inherited, click inherited. I just like leaving this one empty. I don't want any problems there. Flip card, enter, easy, hard, redo, undo. Nothing to change here. That's good. Answer. I like just saying enter. Why? I actually say easy there. And then X is hard. That's my settings, but you can play around with these. See what works for you best. Redo, undo, option, select, click. Select, enter, escape. Select, click. Go ahead and leave this empty. Leave this empty. Leave this empty. These are just your quick select options. I don't play around with these that much. So I'm going to save my initial changes and then I'm going to go here for custom actions. Some custom actions I like using are the G key for occlusion masks. And I have comma for the multiple answers. There we go. That should be it. Save it again. This time I like going through it one time and just changing mainly the start and or mainly the start and select buttons, since those are my R2 and L2 on the mapping. So if I'm ever using occlusion masks, I press G on my keyboard, and when I hit start, which is R2, that should take out the occlusion mask for me. So I'm gonna hit. G, comma. And when I go through it, let me hit comma here. So that is the mapping system I utilize. Um, I'll probably make a follow-up video showcasing how G, like what I did with the uh, custom actions. But from the best description is anatomy for the sake of anatomy practicals where you have a bunch of occlusion masks, hitting G is a great idea to get rid of all the masks so you can memorize the entire picture. And the comma is just a honestly a lifestyle change because on some of the cards in On King, uh, I can't exactly see all of the 
all of the options. When I hit enter, it's just gonna skip to the next card if it's like a multi-answer question. I'll be sure to showcase that in a later video, but I just want to get this out there fast since a lot of people were confused on how to map their 8-bit though micro gamepad to the computer and not necessarily just their mobile iOS device. Well, anyways, guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. As always, this is Fixer Med signing off. Have a great day, everyone.